Welcome. This video will demonstrate how to carry out a system backup, restore, import, and export. To schedule a backup, or to initiate an immediate backup, make sure it is enabled. Choose a backup time and a backup type, and select Save. Enter the default password Admin, or the password you selected, and select OK. Backing up logs, scheduling a backup, or resetting the log can be accomplished in the log management screen. Select edit to change the pop-up message or the percentage at which your log is full. The update feature gives you the ability to update your node to the latest firmware. To use this feature, make sure you have internet access. The update may take up to five minutes. Click OK and wait for the system to reboot. Wait for a dialog box to appear stating the update has been completed. In the Restore screen, select Choose File. Upload your backup file, select Restore, enter the password, and select OK. Wait for the dialog box to appear, and select OK once more. The E3 can receive current time from a time server, or the time can be set manually. To do so, select Time Server from the sitemap, and choose the desired server address from the drop-down menu making sure you save any changes. To export user data, export a blank Excel file to your computer by navigating to the User Data Export page from the sitemap and selecting CSV and Export. Insert the following information into the spreadsheet. Card holders, card number, card format, ID, access level, and threat level. Access level and card format should be programmed into eMERGE prior to importing. Make sure the information you transfer is exactly the same as the information in eMERGE, and save your file. Navigate to User Data Import from the sitemap. If you wish to add data to existing data in the system, choose Skip. If you wish to import all new data, choose Overwrite, and select the file you created. Click Import when finished. To view the imported information, navigate to the card holder screen. To export information from a legacy eMERGE 50 or 5000 panel to an E3 eMERGE panel, import usernames, cards, card formats, user IDs, threat levels, access levels, and a user defined field into the blank exported Excel document. The card format and access level you are using has to already be programmed into the E3 panel in order to complete the import. Spelling should be exactly the same in the panel as it appears in the Excel file. Copy and paste this information into the appropriate columns and save the new document. Make sure the user ID is in sequential order, beginning with number 1. Navigate to User Data Import. If you wish to add existing data in the system, choose Skip. If you wish to import all new data, choose Overwrite. Select the file you created and click Import. To view if all cardholder information was imported into the panel, go to the cardholder screen and use the page numbers or the search feature to locate a specific cardholder. Thank you for watching. You may now exit the course.